It's February 11, 2022. Um, whatever this weather is, whatever the atmosphere is, it's creating some kind of mood disorder with Lynn. She had a fit last night, and then I call it snit fit, and then she's like, no TV. I mean, like, it's... Oh, like being a kid again with the fucking verbal abuse, like the adult, but whatever, in sublingual, somebody got pissed somewhere else in the world, and I'm just suffering the, like, aftermath in sublingual programming. Um, I really hate, I mean, like, there's a video game that came out, uh, I think it was like an underground video game wasn't my genre, was not my cup of tea. I don't, I'm not into videos or games like that. It was called Sin City, S-I-N-C-I-T-Y. Uh, it's like the underground railroad for every porn and drug king. It's like, was their way into virtual world, it feels like. It's really gross back doors and back alleys and back channels. They put on this morning on CBS 2. Now, this is the weird thing. Yesterday they said that this guy, Vlad, who doesn't look familial Vlad, I don't know where, what his deal or ordeal is, um, but he's not familial Vlad. He's somebody else. Um, he's on channel, he's see the BS, um, whatever. And so he's on, um, and I'm like, didn't they just take him and Gail off yesterday because of, like, COVID exposure? Why is he back now on February 11th? Oh, right, yeah, because that, it, what, are we just, like, testing and, like, trying to see who picks up on the fact that this is all pre-recorded and like, synchronized with the false betting and false investing in sports in order to inflate our own accounts at some level of really rich, obnoxious, and dangerous because they've overinflated their own power and there's no, like, internal governance or oversight governance board. Just curious, because I haven't heard of any. Um, so, Lou's sitting at, uh, so anyway, so it goes back to this morning, they show this thing on Denmark in Copenhagen, um, and they, and it's this, it's like a club, and I don't know what the name of the club is, they had one in Pachog, which they called the Emporium, E-M-P-O-R-I-U-M, -M. again, not my cup of tea, not my genre, but Tia Freya, wanting to check things out, took me there one night um, to go meet with Johnny D, local guy. Um, so, um, that was that. But now, in early 90s, when I went to St. Dominic's in 91, there was this girl by the name of Lynn Lackner, L-Y-N-N-L-A-C-K-N-E-R. Her father had something to do with OK Petroleum, OK, and then P-E-T-R-O-L-E-U-M. I, and she had a brother who flew some flag that was not the United States of America. I don't know what flag it was. It was not something I had ever seen, but it looked something like it had... Like to, a motif of anchor and ch chains. So, and he liked ferrets. F-E-R-R-E-T-S. Um, so anyway, they had a split ranch in Hicksville. H-I-C-K-S-V-I-L-L-E. They lived close to the Imperial Manor, which was the shithole that I waitressed in, and I know some people booked their Tony and Tina weddings of non-essential equipment um, just for a night out in, in like a seedy whatever. Um, so 
um, supporting local business. Yeah, I was dressed with, looked like penguin outfit for a server, but whatever. Um, and so she took me to this place I had never even heard of in Long Beach. I never even heard of Long Beach at that point because I was living in Cold Spring Harbor and I didn't get out much. And so she wanted to take me to a teen night, which I had never heard of, T-E-E-N-N-I-G-H-T. And so she took me to this place called Caffeine's. She drove, C or he drove, C-A-F-F-E-N-I-N-E-S. And so we went, and then they picked us up. There was, like, music there. And that was all there was. For me, there was no drugs. There was no drinking. There was no anything. I don't know if the other children had access to that. But for Lynn and I, it was like I got lost and was just looking for a way home. I was very uncomfortable. I stood towards a speaker and I just listened to the beats of the music and was watching with my back to the speaker because I wanted to leave and I didn't know. Keep my eye, like, looking for the exit. Um, but of course I didn't drive there and I, she was the only one that I knew in the place. I really hate New York. Um, this is the disgusting level of leadership and like experimentation on the children that you shitbags somewhere else have allowed. I wish that they would all just get rounded up and executed, but whatever, here we are. Um, so, um, so we finally got back home. We went one night there. That was enough for me. I was a fish out of water. I was just like, I never want to do that again. Um, so, uh, there's that. So last night, Lou's sitting at the table. And he says, um, he says, he's talking about Deepak Ch Chopra and like NDEs and like the spirit. And I'm like, I really hate when you speak. There's, n and then Tia Frio starts yapping away. And I'm like sitting in the middle of dumb and dumber, giving out all falsified facts in front of my 20th century number 12 that looks like our genetic line my genetic line anyway not lose and not tear frills and I'm just like I, I mean I can't even put my hands over my kids ears I'm, I don't know what to do to protect him so here we are so I'm like all right so he's like yeah because when you lose the body and you go out of your body and it becomes a near-death experience the spirit goes on and all oh, there's like trillion cells and blah, blah blah and i'm like right yeah i got that i was like so lou since you're like the expert at the table um i was like so what do you call it when you're still in the same body you just disappear out of time and space and you wind up in the same body in the same consciousness in the same moment, just in a timeless space as a masterpiece, but moved into a different scene. What's that called? He had no idea. He's like, well, that's, I don't, I never heard of that before. I'm like, right, yeah, no doubt that, but it does exist. So I'm just lacking the words of what it's actually called. Santia Frio goes, I think that's astro projection. A-S-T-R-O-P-R-O-J-E-C-T-I-O-N. And I'm like, really? Astro projection, right? Okay, so then I'm thinking to myself this morning, because I don't talk to the idiots at the table, I'm walking and just thinking of where my number 12 is. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm like, so if some jackass astro projected me into this particular prism, P-R-Y-S-M, in like a penalty box of some sort, P-E-N-A-L-T-Y, at 43, all beat the fuck up, machines crushed my jaw, messed my mom up, 
I've got adipose tissue. Um, I feel like a popped kernel of corn that is having trouble getting back into its shell because its entire biochemistry has and environment has changed in origami that's now crushing it. It's hard to breathe. It's almost like, here's my breathing apparatus, here's the pressure on the outside, and they're inverted. They're articulated, but inverted. So, I'm like, but so now, if some really nasty corporation, like, I don't know, NFL, NBA, MLS, one of the MS kids of, like, Porn, drugs, rock and roll, Hollywood, I don't know, one of the big four. If one of those assholes somewhere in the entire league decided to throw me into a penalty box at 40, or 43 at this point, and they plan to have me raped, drugged, dragged along, but I'd be the control for their experiment in case they get in trouble at some point. I'm just curious. At what point do I actually benefit out of this situation? Because they seem to be growing empires and dangerous inner organizations within this United States of America. They seem to have unlimited freedom of thought, speech, coin, travel, and hurting people in the most peculiar ways. And yet, I don't see an upside to this, ever. Like, I did not benefit. I've been at the shitty end of this fucking stick with a known spiritual something special, but stuck in an astral projection, almost like in a statistical data analysis of, like, high quantum, like, really scary scientists, where they base everything off of this broken sundial and zodiac so they can chase results and increase their stipends and their wealth pools in all sorts of weird banking and betting and casino ways. And growing some kind of loyalty to I don't know fucking what. Just curious, how do you get out of that kind of deep state? It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kataruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.